Hey, friends of the internet. Seatbelt. There we go. Um, I have a video that'll be, uh, I think it'll be pretty uh, fun today. Uh, it's a food review. And um, it's of a, uh, a older looking drive-in um, that wife and I tried a couple weeks ago. And I thought I'd make a video of it. Um, it's a seasonal deal. So they're only open in the summer. Um, and they're going to be closed uh, next week, actually, the first week of October. So I thought I'd get going now and make a review before they close up. Uh, it's called A&Dubs. Dubs. It's in West Duluth. Um, but first, I have a couple errands I got to run. Got to run to the mall, uh, find a book. Then we got to grab some eggs, go home, grab the dog, because she's cooped up in the house right now, and then go do the review. Come along on this nice rainy day. Also, car update, the repair, well, I got it done, the actuator switched out, and the heat on the passenger side works now. Um, but a little piece in the glove box, uh, a little piece of plastic broke off, so I'm waiting for the um, uh, silicone and glued it together, that little plastic piece, and I'm waiting for it to dry, and then I can put it all back together. So a rabbit hole but it's getting there for anyone that watched my last video and saw that I had some repairs to do. Welcome to the Miller Hill Mall. You probably see Culver's but it said Miller Hill Mall under that. A lot of construction going on around here. A lot of construction. I should do a Culver's review one time. I love Culver's. So this past winter uh, winter of 2022, I think it was, or was it still, it was a January. Anyway, this past winter, um, the Miller Hill Mall had a, a roof cave in because of the amount of ice and snow, um, on top of it. And I guess it was not up to code or up to whatever. Um, so a, a portion of the mall has been closed off because of that roof collapse. No one was injured. No, it was before they opened. But I was hoping that I could walk around through the bookstore into the mall, but that portion might be closed off. But we will see, won't we? So here's Barnes & Noble. Is this all open? Wow. That's a rarity. Okay, um, and now I'm going to Quick Trip because I need eggs and hit the ATM because this drive-in is cash only. We made that mistake before where we ordered and we didn't see the little sign that said cash only. And so we had to run over to the ATM and get cash. So I'm going to get cash before I go to the restaurant now. Anyway, one more stop. Get the doggo and then we'll go order some food. Yahoo! Got cash, got eggs, the dog, and I'm starting to get hungry. It's only 10 30, but I don't really have breakfast, so let's do it! acquired. She's smelling the outside right now. Now it's time to acquire some food, finally. if you want. Usually people come out and take your order so I'm gonna see if 
that's the case, and if not, I'll just go in. Oh, here we go. Morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you today? Good, good. Um, I'm going to do that cheeseburger shake meal, please. Okay. And I'll do everything on the cheeseburger, if you could. If you want the works, it'll be ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion. Okay. We can add mayo to that, take away anything. Yeah, we'll just do the works. That's perfect. The works? Yep, just a chocolate shake with that one would be Beautiful. awesome. Alrighty, and then did you want the fries or the ring? Yeah, I'll just do the fries, okay. please. Okay, and for here to go? Um, I will do to go, and then I'm also going to add one hot dog as well. Okay, do you want everything on that hot dog? Uh, just plain. And onion? Please, yep. Alright, I'll have it out for you in just a little bit, okay? Okay. Maybe like 10 minutes. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Very nice uh, people that work here. Um, she said she's going to add another hot dog for the dog, but I'm not going to give my dog a hot dog. She's going to get straight diarrhea from that. Um, sorry, Ely. I know you're like, what the hell? Um, anyway, great service here. Uh, it seems like it's going to be pretty cheap, too. That's going to be like nine, uh, I'm going to say about 15 bucks. Just give them the rest of the couple bucks for change. I like supporting small businesses like this. It's really, really nice little business. It doesn't seem too busy all the time and great place to, great place to eat. So I will wait a couple minutes. She said 10, 15 for the food. So I uh, will wait around, watch my phone a little bit, watch some TikTok and, and we will, uh, what are you doing? And we'll eat and show you the food. Okay, okay, okay. So I got a, a meal with a little chocolate shake and uh, burger, fries, and um, I had a hot dog too. It came out to like 13 or 14 bucks. It's a lot of food for 14 bucks. I gotta try one of these fries. Ooh, I can't wait till I get home. Your crinkle cut. Ooh. Holy crap, that's hot. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Those are delicious. Super salty. Ow! Very good customer service. Very quick customer service. Um, uh, they're open, she said, until October 7th, I think. Um, last time I heard, they're going to uh, stay up until October, first week of October, or until they run out of food. You know, they're going to get their last truck in, I'm sure, the beginning of first, first of October, 2nd of October, something like that. And I'm sure they're just going to keep serving until they don't have food anymore. So, she said October 7th, and um, that's kind of probably just a rough date, but I might have to come back one more time here and try a couple other things. Because as you see, as you saw, past tense, uh, the menu was incredible. So... I, I might have to run back here one day and try it out again. Um, but yeah, I'm driving home right now and we're gonna do a little quick review and we'll show you what we got. Bye. Since I'm working in the garage today, I thought I might as well just do the review in the garage here. Why not? So let's get out the straw here, because I'm uh, psyched to try out chocolate shake. So since this comes in a meal, it was pretty, pretty small. I was hoping to be a little bigger than that. Ooh, ooh. That's delightful. It, um, that's very sweet. Not too sweet. Nice and thick. Ice cream. Mmm, that's a nice milk chocolate. Mmm. That's very creamy, decadent. I'm gonna put that up on the shelf there. That's good. Alright, so I already tried one of the fries. Get a big bag of fries. Let's try those. See that? Listen to that. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
yeah. Salty. Delicious. You want to go inside? Okay. Ely was bored in the garage, so I had to let her inside. Get another one of those fries. Mm-hmm. Not always the biggest fan of crinkle cut, but here it's good because it's nice and fresh, salty, crispy. There you go. So let's see, they have a bunch of napkins in there, ketchup packets, old fashioned burger wrap. So I got the meal, which included a burger, cheeseburger, um, and I got the works, so it's like onions, pickles, uh, ketchup and mustard, I believe that's it. What a nice sesame seed bun. Let's open this up here. Oh yeah, good old fashioned patty there, pickles, onions, cheese. Cheese is on the bottom. Look at that, let's give this a try. Just a good old fashioned cheeseburger. Mm. Fresh off the griddle. Look at Duke Tendomic bun test. There's a little bit of a bounce back. Not the freshest bun in the world, but it's good. Let's get one more taste. Mm-hmm. So good. You can just tell that they fry a bunch of burgers right on the griddle there. Smash them down. It was done in 10 minutes. You can... Oh, it's so good. I love just an old-fashioned drive-in cheeseburger. Finally, just for you guys, I got a hot dog. They got them in these, like, uh, stadium wrappers. I kind of like that. Um, I'm kind of lame with my hot dogs. I like them plain. Just because I love the... I just love the taste of a hot dog by itself. It's double wrapped. Look at that. You can tell it's a steamed wiener. <laughs> um, nice fresh bun. Get it out of that. Nice. Decent. Can maybe it was sitting out a little long. It's a little wrinkly. Um, yeah, you can tell it's a nice fresh bun. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. Hmm. Interesting. Very light on the inside. It tastes like a like a stadium dog. Pretty good. It's a little, yeah, it's um a little lighter than I like on the what I'm when I think of like an all beef all beef hot dog, I think of you know nice darker. Um, it almost looks like a turkey dog. It's so light. Uh, it still tastes good though. Um, hot dog, I, I gotta give. I like that, like, I'm gonna finish this a little bit later here. I am gonna eat it though, don't worry. I, as for hot dogs, I like a Frank that is, you know, all beef, a little darker meat. Um, that was kind of a, it seemed, it kind of tasted like a turkey dog. It very, Mild flavor, not much of a punch. Uh, still good though. Uh, I give a hot dog. I give the hot dog like a 6.1, 6.2. It's not the best I've ever had. Um, if anyone knows um, Dairy Queen hot dogs, Dairy Queen hot dogs are in the is like a 9.6, 9. .6, 9 point, it's, I love Dairy Queen hot dogs. All beef. You can just. I get hot dogs plain just because I want to taste the beef and the bun. So, not have to mask it with a bunch of other flavors. Hot dog, 6.1. Um, shake for that matter. Nice and thick, nice and creamy. Also, Dairy Queen has some of the best chocolate shakes that I think. Very creamy and thick. So, this is comparable. This is very good. You can tell they have their own shake mixer and, you know, blender. That's what they call it. Um, I've got to give this like an 8.9. It's a very good shake. 
uh, fries. Uh, I'm not, a, like I said, the biggest fan of crinkle cut, but these are good and salty and crispy. 7.3, 3. 7.1, because they're crinkle. If they were like beer battered, like, um, who has good beer battered fries? Like, uh, there's a place in Duluth called Fitgers Brew and Brew House, and they have a, a, a beer battered fry, and that's like my favorite fry. And so I'm going to give this like a, what did I say? 7.1, just because they're, they're crinkle. I'm not the biggest fan of crinkle in the world. Burger. Meat was a little dry, um, <clears throat> but the flavor is immaculate, nice and salty, peppery, perfect amount of ketchup, mustard, pickle, onion, the bun was super soft. Burger's got to be like an 8, 8.4, 8 which is a really good score, um, but I'm going to back this up, bring it inside so I don't eat my whole meal in the garage. And um, overall, and dubs, I really enjoy this place. Uh, I've lived in Duluth a total of probably six six years now, and I just found this place out. I wish I knew about this a long time ago, just because it's nice old-fashioned driving. Like you saw in the video, you drive up, order your food. They, they don't take payment until you get your food in your hands. She literally handed all my food and... And I was like, oh, and she said, okay, 13 something, $14. Said, here you go. Uh, here's a couple bucks for a tip and I was on my way. Great customer service. Um, overall, the experience is 8.7, 8.8. Um, I love a great little area. So if you're ever in Duluth, Minnesota, West Duluth, uh, like I said, it is only a seasonal thing. So October 7th, I think she, Said they're closing up whenever they run out of food for the year, so not that they are old food by any means, but they're getting their last truck the first week of October, and then when that last truck of food runs out, then they're going to close up. So if you're ever in West Duluth, I would definitely try out a and Dubs. So that's my review. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I really hope to get more subscribers soon. I'm going to say if I get... Let's say 25 likes on this video. I will. What am I gonna try? Oh, earlier on I said I'll try Culver's. I'll go do a Culver's review. I'll do a butter burger or onion rings or I'll go over at Culver's and do a quick Culver's review. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, uh, and comment on what I should do next. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.